Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. I passed away, I believe it was around Christmas time. Uh, at least that was the last time he was heard from. But it wasn't uncommon for him to just ignore people, so they didn't think anything of it. And then after the new year, they decided to send the police out, and then the police unfortunately found him. So this is a double-wide manufactured home in Apollo Beach, Florida. Guy passed away, I believe it was around Christmas time, they think. Uh, at least that was the last time he was heard from. Body was found New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. They did a welfare check. And uh, the bio has sat since then. So now it's February 10th. Small area, so it shouldn't be bad, but we may have to go through the subflooring because it's manufactured home. So that part will be interesting and fun, to say the least. But it's... Get this, his great, great, your great grandmother was the back bedroom? Yeah, and, and she died two years ago. They must have popped out when they were like 16. Wow. Like how, you know how old she was? How old? Um, she had to have been in her 80s. And my dad is 94. Fiona, you're, are you I'm one 31. of, you're I'm one of what? I'm 23, so. He's 23, with an 80 something year old great grandmother. Technically she's my step great grandmother, but my yeah. grandfather's mom, Died at 99. She was almost 100 and she lived by herself till she was 95. That's, that's incredible, that is. Granted, it was across the street from my grandparents, but yeah. still, she lived by herself. Yeah. Basically, sometime before Christmas, um, they lost contact with him, but it wasn't uncommon for him to just ignore people. So they didn't think anything of it. And then after the new year, they decided to send the police out and then the police unfortunately found him. Judging by the newspapers we found in the house and the ones on the front steps, we're assuming about a week or so before Christmas is when he passed. This is technically my step-uncle. It was my grandmother's stepbrother. All right, and so what led you to call Spalding Decon? I've seen you guys on YouTube and TikTok and whatnot, so when I got here and realized how bad it was, I didn't see any other logical option. So how long have you been a fan of the show? Uh, a couple years. Well, like, yeah, he built all those cabinets, which are unfortunately destroyed now. But especially this back bedroom, he completely rebuilt this whole back bedroom. And he had this custom bathroom, which I don't know if the light will kind of work. This whole back bedroom, this custom bathroom here, there's a whole big closet over here. Pretty much a long walk-in closet. And you said your grandfather built My all this? Great grandfather. Great grandfather? Okay. All these custom, just big closets and stuff that he built into just two trailers. And they got here, it was just two single wide trailers stuck together. And he built that hole in the eye on the back side and that carport and the shed and he used to have a golf cart with a, a toolbox on the back and go around the neighborhood and fix stuff for all the residents in the neighborhood which was kind of cool dang well this is really really impressive you seem really proud about everything no, it, in this home it, it is i mean he did a lot of custom work mm -hmm. like when they bought the place it was trash it was it was it was just a two frames stuck together and that was it so to turn it into what it is now and see it the way it is is Sad. I'm curious to know how long my pants are going to last. So, Fiona, oh. Huh? What? Huh? Your what? pants? What? Pants? <laughs> oh, huh? What? Well, you know, if you, it makes you feel more comfortable. If it gets hot, they're coming off. Now, we're just going to check where all the blood is for sure, so we're not cross contaminating anything. And, uh, to start working our way in like to sit for four days right but to bleed out to that it's like there must have been no ac i think it's just that edge it's just that bottom corner it's just that yeah yeah that's it it's like this thing yeah he would have blood out from his mouth and rectum. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah, so that'll be his head. 
back. That splatter is rectal bleeding from like liver disease, legs, oh, arms, but it looks like that, there's a oral bleeding as well. So it's very common with okay. people that drink or have liver disease to roast off the liver. <laughs> when they pass, uh, like 95% of the time they bleed out. So what's your background on hospice? With, uh, uh, 12 you... years with hospice and the life care and uh, three years in a cancer center. So did that help you kind of get determine this uh kind of what happened here yeah uh with hospice literally every patient that i had that had a liver issue when they did pass they bled out so it's very common watch that gonna come back with a hammer it's quick too are you big man or little man <laughs> <It's a> little <laughs> yeah you want to cut it all the way across or you want to go all the way down? I was doing around? it as one piece. Okay, let's, let's do that one. What are you guys looking for right now? As you're cutting um, the carpet up. The bio, like where it's... Nice. So why are you bagging this bio, or the carpet, instead of just tossing it in the bin? Because uh, all bio should be bagged. That's the regulation. In the middle. Yeah. Let's take this out. Yeah, get the couch out. Wow. Sophia, how's the job going so far? How's it yet? You can see just how much, like, how easy it travels. You know, a lot of people see it at face value on the surface, and not everyone comprehends just how far it can travel underneath. As you can see, the little outline that we had is all this. This is bio or water right here? No, this is, and that's just water. Now, right here, you can see like from the water leak. Right. Right, there's definitely mold. Right. Growth. Yeah, because the moisture was stuck in the carpet pattern. Okay. The bio stops. See where it looks more wet than dry? Right. That's where the bio stops. So you're going to have to cut the floor out? Yeah. So where, just where the bio is? So we'll cut, like from the wall, pretty much the outline that you see. Okay. Yeah, whatever it is it is. The way, the way I look at it, it's like, you know if you have a paper towel and you put like a Sharpie or a wet spot and it just kind of... Yeah. Like that's how it is when it hits yeah. carpet, tile, anything. It hits. What you see at face value is not what's underneath. Right. You know, and that just... Yeah, that's... Hurts you. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I just didn't deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta empty out this side of the room. <laughs> because we have to replace the subfloor. So it's pretty much the whole side of the house. From the looks of it, is it needs to be done anyway. Because of the water damage? Got a roof leak six months ago. They got replaced, but they didn't do anything with that. And you can see it. Like, look at this stuff. Oh, that's water damage. Yeah. Alec, that clock. Yeah, that's the only thing that we've got to kind of be careful of. Okay. And can you explain kind of like the sentimental value of that clock? So my grandmother's dad, my great-grandfather, built that clock. He built that when he lived in Westport 30-something years ago. Oh, wow. 30 or 40 years ago. He made it when she was a little girl, I guess, so yeah, she wants it. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Pet, pet. Let me get a grip. <laughs> Isn't that what he said? Yeah. So is it a little weird not seeing flies and maggots? It's different. They're like... The blood's dry all the way through. Usually if there's carpet, it's usually like concrete underneath or tile, there's concrete underneath. So there's nothing really for the blood to get absorbed. So there's usually, you know, like thick blood. So this is like completely dry. So it almost makes it easier because um, there's not that much to like mess with necessarily.
Yeah. You just kind of want to explain what you guys about to do? Huh? No, explain what you guys are about to do. We're quitting at this point. It's find us keepers. <laughs> no. Uh, so we're going to go buy the floor panels that we need to replace. So I'm going to go do a Home Depot run real quick. And Thad will be running to the warehouse to grab something that he forgot to grab. So we'll be able to meet back at the same time and knock the job out. Oh, there's a plug in one. I've got a 5 8 here. I only have one sheet though, and the others are three quarters. So look at the thickness difference, okay? Look. This is three quarters. That's 5 8. I said I want to shave my head, but I have such nice hair. I was going to say you can't oh, be I've got that in. good, good. <laughs> that Indian hair. Indian quality. That is, what are you working on? Stuff that the family doesn't want to keep. Okay. Something's been living under here. That's like, like cat shit, like cat food, like small dog. Like it's not rodent. That's good. You got it? Yeah. The blood. Right in. Right. If this slips out, after this, we gotta take all that out. Alright. Uh, so we need plastic to put up under the car. So what are you so what are you looking for back here? What are you just um, like? Basically sort of... just some of my great grandfather's tools, like I'll take that bench vice and there's a grinder there. That sort of stuff. But I did actually find this wicked cool vintage sort of footstool looking thing. Sentimental wise, I'm not really yeah. looking for anything of value. I'm just, some sentimental stuff for me to have and my dad to have of it because it was my dad's grandfather. This, which is a wrench, which is stamped Ford. So you can't remove the beams? No, because it's a support beam. Uh... So far, how's it coming along? Man, I'm sweating like Laura in a church. <laughs> Can we get a face? Right. Perfect face. Yeah. It's like a Why are you whispering? Why not? You want me to yell it like it fits like a glove? Like, <laughs> so, oh yeah, he can drill anything in my house any day. Wow. I remember when I bought my house and I had a, like a housewarming, uh -huh. all I asked for was Home Depot gift cards. Cause I'm like, I've had my own place since I was 18. Right, so it was like, what more could I need? Like, I have everything I need. Yeah. I just need Home Depot gift cards. <laughs> and I got it. I, man, I like Were you handy before? Huh? Were you handy before you got the Home Depot gift card? Or did you like, get handy as you accumulated the- No, I've been handy like my whole life. My dad, uh, mom and dad did construction. So I've always grown up like being hands on. And dad was always like, being a girl, like you need to know how to do your stuff. I agree. You know, so I've always been into it. I build stuff all the time. Like, I love this stuff. That's down all the way. They can be down more on that side. That's what I like. You know that Instagram story with like the hearts where it like slowly zooms in? Mm -hmm. You should do that right here. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I'll tell Kennedy. Oh. Today, uh, today actually went really well. We got the bio completely done today. So that's definitely a plus. Tomorrow will just be content removal out of the house. So we'll see how it goes. When I first moved to America, right, and I went to the grocery store. I thought it was like so American that you guys had paper bags, like I would always say it in the movies. You know, like, 
you need to like hold it like this and you can, like bring them inside your house. So I went grocery shopping with my mom and I asked him to put paper bags and it was horrible because like the cold stuff like it made the bottom part like wet. So like I was holding it like this and it just like fell through. And I was like this is not like the movies at all. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, so Fiona ha asked me to organize some stuff I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. Pretty much everything we're going to get rid of because I can't take it back home with me. And my grandparents have already uh, pretty much purged their own stuff, so there's not much they can keep, just sentimental stuff. Me, my grandfather was a mechanic for many years, and one of the things I found was an old wrench from Ford Motor Company that from the 20s that I'm going to keep for myself and his toolbox and whatnot. And, and just my grandfather clock he had built many, many, many years ago. Um, my grandmother wanted I'm going to bring back down to Fort Myers for them. And that's about it that I'm keeping. Like that's a mirror and it has the brush and a comb as well. And I thought that was kind of neat. That's cool. Yeah. Where did you find it at? Uh, in my great grandmother's room. Lies. That's your country, right? It sure is. Proud. It's the one one good thing I've done. Founded this house. And I'm going through an underwear drawer because it's my job. <laughs> but I did find it, so it makes it worth it. Nice. <laughs> Sophie, how's the job going as of yet? It's going. Truthfully, I feel like we've made like amazing progress so far today. It's just little stuff like this that becomes more time consuming than others. Remember he said he got oh. a fake gun? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he thought this was real. I give whoever credit for making this though. It's nice. This is like the main. This is the only one that's left that has a lot of things. Let's see if we find more. Of them. Sound of Christmas. What's it sound like to you, Fiona? What does it sound like to me? What's Christmas sound like to you? Like that crackling sound, like you know, like after Christmas is passing, you burn like a live Christmas tree. It does like this crackling sound, like that, and like the old Christmas music. Would you eat these Tic Tacs? Nope. No. Me either. <laughs> the bathroom's pretty empty. Yeah, but it hasn't been, well, this lady passed away back here two years ago. Oh, I see. So he's cleaned out. This place has been in the family, I want to say, what, his great-grandma was back here? So great-grand, uh, three, four generations? Wow. It says they're getting rid of it. Yep. I guess it ends here. What's on that? What's the design? Oh, like a unicorn. Oh. But it's one of those powder things. Powder your face. It's like translucent. It actually smells clean. Like it's like your typical powder. Mm, like That's cool. Powder. I haven't seen one of those in forever. Why do you think someone has to specify more than once? It's for douching only. Like three times. What's it called? Comforting what? Combination syringe. Oh, combination. Comfy combination syringe. I don't know if I'd touch that for you. How much to use it? Never. How much would you have to get paid to use this? Uh, got as it. is. Nope, negative. Not even this spot. <laughs> Pretty clean in here. For the most part, yeah. Crimes and punishment. It's the whole collection. Wait, it looks like he's being stabbed. In the shadow? Mm hmm. Absolutely perfect. So, and then everything's out off the closet that's in here. All that cupboard and stuff. Beautiful. Oh, you even cleaned it? Yeah, wow. Yeah. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. You guys did great. I don't really smell anything. No, it smells actually really good in here. I like it. I'm happy. It's come a long way in two days. It's a, you guys kicked ass. Did absolutely phenomenal. So, Alec, how are you with your services? Absolutely fantastic. I couldn't have asked for better. You guys went beyond what I expected. This is great to hear. So you weren't expecting um, this level of work then from the text. Like you've seen, a, you've seen the YouTube channel. I, I have, but like, I didn't need to be as well as it is. You guys went above and beyond most professional people I've ever worked with and awesome, just awesome job. 
So is it like it is on the series? Um, yes. Here on site, you guys are more friendly than you appear on TV. I don't know if it's because I get to talk with you guys, but you're very friendly and personable and professional, and I couldn't have asked for better. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.